All right, I'm back here again. Uh, I'm working on a 2014 Freightliner DD15 uh, with a 13 speed manual. Um, having the only issue I've ever had on this truck with the emissions. I've never done a regen in 250,000 miles. It's never asked for one or anything like that. But every once in a while, I'll get that code 3251 um, dash two or whatever, FM2, which says that the pressures between the inlet DOC and the outlet DPF are too wide of a range. And so about a year ago when it was in the shop, one of the wires had broke, so that's why it was throwing the code. Um, it was an erratic signal. I don't think it was 3251.2, it was 3251.7 or something like that. Um, <clears throat> then I had it going in. That seemed like it fixed it for a while. Um, then I had both the sensors go bad within a week. One of them went failed in a way that it was actually putting the red check engine light on and shutting the truck off going down the road. Um, these sensors are like 156 bucks. Um, I'll put the, the numbers for the inlet and the outlet down below because I went to Freightliners before and they can't even find it depending on which one you get. And you don't want to put the wrong one in even though they look exactly the same. Um, so I've done all that and I was thinking, well, I'm getting that code again saying, you know, um, the pressure is too, the differential and pressure is too great. So I figured, well, all right, well, maybe these hoses, they've been on there since new. Maybe one of them's got a crack in it. And if it did, that would be changing it. So I'm going to change these hoses. Um, but why I had it off, I figured, eh, you know, maybe this metal tube is clogged or maybe this one's clogged maybe it's not maybe it's not completely clogged but maybe it's just clogged enough to to throw the pressure off um so took it off took brake cleaner sprayed brake cleaner in it was all just shooting right back out black soot onto my hand sprayed it a couple more times shot right back out sprayed it in this one nothing shot out went right down into it I was going to take these metal hoses off and I did put a wrench on them and added a second wrench and uh, I decided, nah, I, that feels like I might break something. So I'm going to leave that alone. Then I hooked up my airline to my brake, um, you know, this hose right here to my um, air on the back there to the glad hand and uh, blew, blew that one out first, blew that one out. Now when I put brake cleaner in it, nothing comes back out, it goes down. So I'm gonna guess that that was clogged enough to be throwing the pressure off um, or making it freak out a little bit because um, a lot of black soot came out of that thing. So we'll see what happens. Um, I have the diagnostic link software and it says check all this stuff and make sure things are cleared as part of the troubleshooting code. And if this doesn't do it, then it says it might need a DOC face cleaning, which takes four hours and 45 minutes, which, and you got to sit there with the truck, which I don't really want to do on my day off. You know, I'd rather do something else than that. And then, and then after that, maybe do a regen to make sure. But I think it's just going to be this thing. I'm not going to do the, the face cleaning now. I'm going to go put it back out on the road, knowing that we've done this. And, um, if it, and then if I'm at a, I'll do the DOC face cleaning on my day off at a truck stop, you know, you know, when I got a day off or something, I'll just do it there. Um, so hope this, uh, maybe helps somebody out. It's pretty easy. Um, and like I said, I'll put all the numbers in the, in the, um, in the description below for the, the part numbers for that stuff. And, and these hoses are just like, like, you know, really high temp silicone hose. This one looks a little bit worse for the wear. You know, if they've been on there for 760,000 miles, um, they're not going to last forever. So, good luck, guys.